All right, guys, welcome back to Until Dawn. When we last left off, we encountered what seemed to be a fucking dragon up there. <laughs> so we're going to keep going. Hopefully, uh, not get eaten by a fucking dragon. Hannah. Hannah. Hello? Hannah. Oh, my God, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. What the hell? Anna? <laughs> of course my phone fell, of course. What are they, what is he been coming after them? Why are they doing that? Hold on! Hold on! Uh, okay, take the creepy guy's hand or let her go. Um, fuck. Uh, yeah, fuck that, man. <laughs> Oh. Shit. Okay, well, obviously that was the wrong choice. Dr. A.J. Hill. Okay. The hell's the analyst? What the fuck is this? Before we begin... There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. How are you smiling we'll start about? start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up cards? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. The fuck is this? Am I being analyzed or something? Okay. <clears throat> Barn, cornfield, and a scarecrow. Okay. Alright. So, how... Did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Uh... That uh, didn't really make me feel uneasy. I mean, kinda a little bit though, because of the f it looks like there's blood on the scarecrow. It doesn't make me happy, so I guess I'll just say I feel uneasy. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy. Um, probably the Scarecrow. 80% of the world. But I see. So. I see. Let's see. The Scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. Um... 
No, it's a fucking barn. Who would want to stay in a barn for a week? I mean, but if you take the scarecrow away, I mean... I don't know. I guess no would be the answer. <laughs> oh no? Why not? Uh, well, I wouldn't be scared. I just say I'd be lonely. There's a fine line between the peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness of isolation. No, I just don't want to stay in a fucking barn, <laughs> dude. <laughs> in the future. Hmm? Because I'm afraid we're out of time. <laughs> Not for now. Until the next session. And uh, until then, try to surround yourself with friends in a place that makes you feel safe. Alrighty then. I'll take that advice, kind sir. To the light you go. Creep. Wow, that was just the intro? What? Well, what is this that I can see with ice cold hands taking hold of me? When God is gone and the devil takes hold, who will have mercy on my soul? Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip, we 
will never forget, all right? Yes! Kind of a badass song, you know? I like that song. It's catchy. <clears throat> so far, the acting in this game is really good. The voice acting. The graphics are really, really good. Um, the music is awesome, too. So hopefully that's a great sign, guys, of what is to come. Oh, shit. Spoke too soon. <laughs> Diligent, considerate, adventurous Sam, Hannah's best friend. Okay. Like, no, it's not. That's Hayden Penitier. <laughs> Hello? Or however you say her name. Someone there? Path to the cable car station. Cable car station. Um, wait, I thought I was going to a fucking cabin. Do I have to ride a cable car just to get up there? Yes, I know how to move the camera. You told me before. Oh, good. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Is that a fucking crow up there? Ah. Oh. See, I'm already getting kind of spooked, man, and nothing's even happened yet. Oh, what? The gates busted <laughs> climb over Chris. What? Climb over that pointy-ass gate? Are you fucking crazy? Uh, oh, never mind. I didn't think of that. <laughs> Quick, safe... Um, I'm gonna be logical and go with safe here because climbing up a wall quickly is kind of stupid. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's quick time events, man. Um, 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 um. Jump. Oh, I almost missed that one. <laughs> that would have sucked. I would have died there instantly and that would have been it. Like, so much for Sam. <laughs> Killed her already, man. How did he get over there so fast? Is he watching me? How did he get over there without me noticing that? All right. Aww. When you, when the don't move icons can keep the wireless okay. controller still as possible. Okay. Huh? <laughs> I'm not moving. That's a great way to... I've never played a game that did that before. It's a great way to incorporate that. If you are unsure of what to do next, you can... Okay, by pressing R1. Right, okay. Yeah, this is just like... Who would want to go here for a getaway? This is the most creepiest shit I have ever seen. Plaque. <laughs> Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Black is death, red is danger, brown is loss, yellow is guidance, and white is fortune. It's strange. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video here. If you guys are enjoying this, please feel free to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Take it easy. Peace.